What is up, everybody? Monty here, back for a post-Thanksgiving episode of A Train 9. I'm getting back into my videos. I took a nice week off, and I'm really excited to get back in. Not just to A Train, but Train Fever and all that stuff. First thing I wanted to do was just make a quick video on how to make a brand new game in A Train that also takes advantage of the new vehicle limit of 100 or 200 or whatever it used to be with version 3 you only had a 20 limit vehicle thing for your whole city which in the city I'm playing for version 4 I chose that default setting so what you want to do is you go to your map editor on your main tab here and you can load up any of these even a one that I've already worked on so let's import a custom map we'll do learning ground seeing as how that is the game we're playing on in the game. Now unfortunately once you play the city for a while in the regular part of the game you're not going to be able to come back and change this option uh, down here under the create map option. This is not available only in the map editor. Here's your default settings and I missed all this. I was just concerned with making the new map and then you go to your, you know, import custom game, add custom game, and then you perform the new game registration. What I want to do is actually change the vehicle limit before I go do that. So what I should do is go maximum number of vehicles, now 200, not the default of 20. Uh, and you can also do the time factor real-time ratio. The default is 450 times. I guess that's just, you know, if you had that set too slow, you're gonna have to really burn through time to get buildings to build up and all that kind of stuff. So I don't know, 450 has been working fine for me. I just forgot about this vehicle limit of 200. For my series, at least for season one, we're gonna continue with the map with the 20. Uh, we only need about 20 vehicles, I think, to really try to get a good hang of the game, spread ourselves out, even expand and have a very large city. Uh, but you know, it's 20 vehicles, like for example, 20 trucks and then 20 buses and then 20 trains, not just 20 of all those combined. So this is how you do it. Make sure you select 200, go ahead and hit next. Uh, this is all the other options here. So when you close, you go file, you go perform new game registration. Now, when I go back to in this, we're gonna go back to the main menu. We're gonna load this game up and verify that we have the 200 train limit. Uh, so you're gonna go ahead and go to game. You're gonna go to custom game. This one right here, Learning Ground, we just made it up today, November 27th, day after Thanksgiving, so I hope everyone had a good Thanksgiving. Now that is if you celebrate Thanksgiving, it's more of an American holiday, but it's always good to hang out with all the friends and family, and I ate until I couldn't even get to my computer yesterday, so that was a good thing. <laughs> so, okay, we've loaded in our game. You might notice this area over here looks a little bit familiar. This is where our city is in our series that I've been playing around this little mountain here. And then we have it spread out along this hub. Now, if you go to your trains and scroll through this, look at that, all the way down to 199, I apologize, but I think there's zero. So technically there's 200 options for trains. There's 200 options for buses, and you can always cruise around in your little leisure vehicle. So that's been it, a quick little tip into how to extend your game uh, vehicle limit. You have to do it in the map editor, and you have to do it before you start the map. Or you have to play one of the new version 4 uh, cities. And I'm telling you, not all these are set at 200. I think one of them is set at 100, and one of them might even be set at 40. Uh, so I still, with these games, I'm a builder from scratch. I like to start from nothing and build out and have everything kind of grown out due to my transportation hub and network that I put together. So next episode, we're going to go underground. That's right. I'm going to definitely get the height map going, and we're going to actually build back in my previous city. I'm not going to start from scratch again until season two. And uh, that's going to be fun. We're going to be able to... I'm just going through all my options. It's been a while since I've messed with all this stuff. There's my height map. See, I can change the height. I can go underground. Right, right, right. Set height. Cool. So we're gonna have fun next episode. I wanna build some subways and things like that and help expand our city out that way. 
Uh, and I'll show you, you know, we're going to want to hide all the buildings and do a bunch of cool stuff. So I'll see you guys next episode. Stay tuned for other A-Train videos coming your way as long as, as well as, not as long as, as well as some Train Fever uh, and some other games I picked up. There's a few Black Friday deals, but it's a lot of games that I haven't been playing too much that I, I would record. I've got a lot of Assassin's Creed in. I've got a lot of Fallout 4 in. Uh, more of just personal fun games that I'm having fun with. Uh, I, I'd make a few highlights in there, but I know that's not my normal style of videos that I record. So uh, I will be back making more building simulation games. Uh, Anno is on the way as well. So see you guys next episode. Thanks again for tuning in and watching. Make sure to keep those comments coming, and I'll talk to you next time.